Hello, you've been working really hard at trying to sing better, but are you feeling stuck? Okay, let's get to the bottom of this today. We have to solve this. I think that there might be some things that you're not thinking about. So let me ask you this. Are you really thinking about how you are opening your mouth for your vowel sounds? Are you doing this on a regular basis? Have you ever done this before? Do you think that singing is the same as talking in terms of how you open your mouth. You're trying to sing the way you talk and trying to open vowels the same way and you're not being mindful of your vowels. This might be the difference. This might make all the difference today. When you sing an ah, do you sing this way? Ah, or do you sing it this way? Ah, 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 ah. If you answer it the second way, what you really want to do is make sure that we open this way. That is not natural. I know that when we walk around and we talk, we do not talk like this. But believe it or not, this is what we have to get used to doing when we sing. And when you sound fantastic singing, you will want to keep doing this but it, we have to put it into practice every day. It's not natural, okay? So together, me and you, right now, any note you want, it could be ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, whatever note is easy for you, but let's open this way. Ah, uh, that feels great. Okay, so now I want to ask you, how are you singing your E sounds? Are you singing, if you're like me, when we, when we say the word me, me goes this way, me. But that's very tight for singing. We can't sing that way most of the time. If you try to hit a high note like that, let's say, and you go, me, there's so much tightness. So what I'd like you to do with me right now is same technique, me. Okay, so now let's try an I sound. See what happens when you end an I sound? It actually has two sounds. It has I E. So it's like I and then an E sound or an I and a Y sound after. But we have to be really careful when that happens, not to close your mouth until the very end of the note. So what we really want to do here is go I. So that is going to make that note sound a lot better. Anything with that sound. Also, Keep in mind that when you're singing an I, it could shape like an ah. Ah, like you could pretend you're yawning on an ah, so you're open in the front, and you're also open in the back like a yawn. And opening both ways, I, can also make I sound more open and better than I or So these are where all the problems start to develop in singing, just because we're not pronouncing vowel sounds the way we're supposed to sing. Let's try an O. Oh. 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 And an O. And I know I look strange, and you probably, if you look in the mirror, you probably think you look pretty strange too, but start looking at those singers that we love and we admire, you'll notice open space. So open up this space, guys, and you will sing so much better. Can't help falling in love with you instead of love with you. Because if you talk, falling in love, uh, falling in love. So the word love is really just a la. It's an ah sound. So sometimes that vowel that's in the word is actually another sound that you have to play with. So start thinking about your vowels. You're gonna be so amazing already. You're going to notice a difference. I really want to help you with this. So please let me know how vowels are going and let's be great.